University 2, today's project, I'm troubleshooting my um, brother XL2600, the third bobbin here. My winder is, seems, seems to be slowing down. When I put, uh, let's see my power on here. When I try to wind my bobbin, it sounds like it's going really slow. Just like it's not catching, or something's not making contact, and my bobbin is going a little slow when I try to rewind my bobbin with my thread, thread over here. So we're going to open it up and see what the problem is. Um, it may have some oil or some um, part that's causing it to slip, or maybe we need to replace something. So we're going to open it up and um, see what the issue is on why my thread. Uh, my bobbin threader is going slow. Sometimes working with um, equipment, uh, slow machines, or whatever machine, it's good to see if, um, if you can open it up to see what goes on inside. Look at, look at all these parts. This is a lot of parts. And if one thing breaks, it may shut down the whole machine. So troubleshooting um, is important. If, if you can do it, um, I didn't know how to do this stuff. I, I begin to tingle with things and, and uh, be bold and take This is uh, this is amazing how this is put together. However, uh, today I'm working on why my bobbin threader is running so slow. And by examining my parts, I was able to locate uh, too much oil on some of the parts. Uh, some of the parts probably need to be uh, tightened up or something bent to make it stronger and um, that's what I did and when I finished everything worked fine so these machines are amazing now. Okay I'm going to remove the thread. I already have the screws out. Move all my screws out. I'm just going to lift off the panel right now. Most of it already disassembled. Okay. off and we're going to turn it sideways here so the bobbin goes on top ready to be threaded and it slides back like that so whatever this is making contact with at the bottom down here look like I got oil on this rubber that makes contact <coughs> with the spindle here that that may be a problem so I'm going to uh, get the oil off of that I'm going to take some sandpaper and uh, sand this piece of rubber down not sand it down but uh, make it rough So, and we're going to check the contact and see if that's going to solve the problem <coughs> you can see the piece of <coughs> that rubber wheel looks um, oily and it's making contact with this little wheel here that has grooves on it. So let me clean that up and see if that's the issue. Taking a paper towel, put it on my, what I think is too much oil. Just going to turn this by hand. This is where this disengages. When this is not engaged, this works the needle, but when it's engaged, the needle stops and this turns. I'm getting the oil off. Like that. Okay, I'm taking a paper towel here. I got this engaged. When it's not engaged, your, your needle works. And when it's engaged, your needle stops working and just the thread will work. So get some of this oil off of here. This thing has two, I notice it has a belt here and there's a longer belt I don't know if you can see that 
We have the, have the longer belt here. Goes all the way up to, the, to that gear. This belt looks like it's a little thicker. It goes across, looks like one, two, three gears in case your belt breaks on this machine. It's Pretty sure you can replace it, just take a few things apart. And um, the other belt is here. Anyway, my project today is cleaning up my threader here. Looks like I got too much oil. Back here, let's. See if I can take care of that. Everything looks too oily back here. I think that's going to stain too. I see these gears. I don't think this is making contact with the bruise on here really well. I have a little sandpaper here. Just going to fold it. I'm going to take and see if I can sand this little rubber piece down some. Make a little. better contact. As I turn here, this whole rubber piece is turning, so it looks like that can be replaced. Yeah, that, that whole piece moves, so if this don't take care of the problem, I just find a uh, piece of rubber. It looks like one of the um, faucet washers. It's like a seal, type of seal, but um. It's probably a special size, but I, I've seen this piece of rubber before. Let me finish turning this and put it, sand it back and get it dried off. My sandpaper. It's looking good. The shine is disappearing. I don't think it should be looking like that. Okay. Turning this, the oil is coming off of there. Now I'm going to test it out here. Let me get some more of this. Oh. Here's another piece here that's holding up against this spindle. Um, it looks like it's, it's, a, it's applying pressure to here. It's pushing this, keeping this pushed up against this gear here. See if I can make some adjustment on this too. That's holding it down. I need to make sure that's pushing up against here. This is what's causing this um, little gear to turn. I'm going to make an adjustment on here, um, clean it up some more, and see if that helps. If not, then we're going to do something about this rubber. I can find one, locate something to go over there to make it 
A little better. The rest of the tube went right along. Um, this is my um, brother LX2600 phase two troubleshooting. Why my um, bobbin threader was going really slow. Okay, I got my, my machine turned sideways. I'm gonna take this piece off here. Uh, screws right off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and bend this backwards a little in case some of the uh, well, it's not that thick. I better be careful. Um, this is applying pressure to here. So I'm just going to bend it back just a little so maybe I can get a little bit more pressure. I'm going to bend it backwards here. Like that, my screwdriver, and then with my wire pliers. Let's see if that helps apply more pressure to that. Just put it back on, seeing where I got it off. Get my fingers out the way. Look like I'm miss, missing a screw. Maybe not. I think that just sits on there. Just one screw in there. Touch right in this hole here. There's two holes. One, two. But the first hole, put that back on top. And take and screw it back down. I'm trying everything I can think of that possibly could work. Why would you put a lot of oil back up in there? It's looking good though. Okay, we're going to test this again. See if I get any speed. This should have more pressure on it. I'm still be able to push it back with my hand. This job is good. I'm going to plug our cord back up here. Get it back in there. Test out our spin. Looks faster to me. The rest of the two troubleshooting my uh, brother LX 2600. My thread uh, bobbin uh, winder was a little slow, so I took it apart, um, degreased some parts. Um, bent this particular part that put pressure up against the little spindle area and um, it works fine. There you go. Troubleshooting the Brother XL2600. This is part two. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.